Our Oklahoma versus Ohio State preview is brought to you by Axe. I'm now joined by 24-7 Sports Director of Scouting, Barton Simmons. Barton, how can number two OSU protect their turf against number five Oklahoma on Saturday? Well, Head, I think there's an area where Oklahoma's got a distinct advantage over Ohio State, and it's a pretty important spot. I think it's at the quarterback position. I think Baker Mayfield has proven himself to be a more reliable, more dynamic, um, really more consistent threat than JT Barrett on the Ohio State side of the ball. And I think if Ohio State is able to see JT Barrett really elevate his level of play to match Baker Mayfield's on the other side, that gives them a great opportunity. You look at what they did last week, Baker Mayfield was near perfect. And JT Barrett had his moments too, but it's the downfield passing game where JT Barrett has got to improve. And if he can hit a couple of those shots down the field, I think that opens up a lot more underneath, which is where Ohio State really thrives, and which is where JT Barrett is at his best, which is using his legs and, and making plays, extending plays against the defense. And JT Barrett will have to find the end zone on a consistent basis to protect his turf on Saturday night. And if he does that, he's sure to get a sticker or two put on his helmet by coach Urban Meyer. So for more on that story, we leave you with this. The history kind of states uh, coming off the 1968 championship team, um, longtime trainer Ernie Biggs came up with the idea of awarding Buckeye uh, stickers and, and Leafs to put on the helmet after big wins, big plays. Coach Meyer uh, obviously makes a big deal with this um, after our Tuesday practices. He brings up and, and will announce the, the high Buckeye point earners of the week. The big thing is, you know, you always get one Buckeye award uh, for a win. Now, now, in the few times we don't win, no one gets awards. So you could have a great game and a loss, and, and you're not going to get any Buckeye leaves for that. One Buckeye leaf for, for, for a win, uh, Big Ten wins, you get two Buckeye leaves. And uh, team up north, you're going to get three Buckeye leaves for that one. The team focus is first. Uh, go into unit positions. Um, obviously, the, the different coaches from uh, the nine units will, will develop a criteria and do some gradings. Once you get into different type of units, whether it's the offensive line blocking for X amount of yards rushing uh, or uh, defense giving up X amount of points or, you know, or X amount of yards uh, as, as a unit would get some awards. And then obviously when you have the um, individual players excel you know, in, a, in a game from a, a big play to just a, um, just a great game, then that's where the individual aspect gets, gets involved. On average, you're getting about 44 per side. Um, uh, there's a couple other things on the helmet from a, from a number and an American flag and, and other decals on there uh, that, that would keep up. But so we're looking at about 88 to 90 uh, Buckeye leaves will complete a helmet. Going back on memory, I think Braxton Miller might have got 16 or 17. Uh, I think after this, this past week at Indiana, uh, we awarded 432 total Buckeye leaves across the whole team. So looking at a, a full season, we're going through about anywhere from five to 6,000 Buckeye, Buckeye Leafs for a year. And when seniors do leave, uh, we, we give them their senior helmet from the year. So we leave them as is from the last game. They definitely like to keep that on, on display for, for the rest of their lives. From everything I've read, um, that Ohio State was the, the first to award some sort of uh, award sticker on the helmet. And obviously, uh, across college football now, you see, see a bunch out there, but uh, hopefully uh, the tradition stands true and, and we were the first.